So this is the typical type of question you would get, for example, at the end of a periodicity question or an ionization energy question. It says element X is in period 3 of the periodic table from sodium to argon. The first six ionization energies of element X are shown below. It gives you the ionization energies going across the top, sorry, the numbers, and the ionization energies, what they are on the bottom. It says predict with reasons the identity of element X. And the secret to this question is look at the ionization energies and you're looking for a really big jump in the differences the ionization energies. So the difference from there to there, I'm going to do things approximately, is about 800. From there to there is about 1,500, 600, 700, doesn't matter. From there to there is about 1,300-ish. But the jump from there to there is, let's look at it, about 12,500-ish. Again, ish, we're just looking at rough numbers. What does that mean? Well, it means that it's quite easy, relatively, to remove the first, the second, the third, and the fourth electron. But it's harder to remove the fifth electron. So what does that mean? Well, if you can remove the first four electrons, that means there must be four electrons in the outer shell. And the reason why it's really hard to suddenly remove the fifth electron is because it's in a shell that's close to the nucleus. You're breaking into a new shell. It's harder to remove it. So that means the good answer would be there is a jump in ionization energies between the fourth and fifth ionization energy. Therefore, because it's easy to remove the first four relatively, but hard to remove the fifth, it means there are four electrons in the outer shell. The question then says, predict with reasons the identity of element X. So we know it's in the fourth shell, but the question is asking us, which element is it? And it says at the, right at the top of the question, it's in period three. So if we look at our, our periodic table, what does it say? So period three is that one. It's the one from sodium across to argon. The thing that's in group four is silicon, which means the element is silicon.